Yeah. Uh, the two books, Moin and the Monster, and Moin the Monster Songster, have been issued together as a pair because the Moin the Monster Songster is the new sequel to uh, Moin and the Monster. It's about this boy called Moin who has found a monster under the bed. Now the monster cannot uh, be seen until he draws it. So Moin has to draw the monster and only then will it appear. When Moin draws the monster, unfortunately Moin draws very badly. So when he draws the monster, the monster looks nothing like it imagines itself. It looks funny as you can see. And it's a monster who likes to eat bananas and sing songs, but he sings horribly. So Moin has a terrible time with the monster and it's about how the two of them are stuck together forever. Okay, I, I can't really be sure about how, the, how my brain works when I'm writing. Uh, but I think it would go this way, that monsters are the most common thing in children's books. And, um, so, and monsters, are, monsters are usually under the bed. So I started off with that and then I just made it up as I went along. So this monster couldn't be seen and then he had to be drawn and the boy turns out to be a, you know, a bad artist because if he was a good artist then where's the fun in it. I don't plan too much when I'm writing a book and this book particularly is a very freewheeling kind of book where it's a, the monster is singing songs and it's quite mad. So you, you know, so I didn't plan too much. One thing I did do is I deliberately didn't give it a, an ending where they start off not liking each other. The monster is unhappy because Moin hasn't drawn him well. Moin is unhappy because he didn't want a monster. I mean, who, which child wants to be living with a monster? But so they start off uh, not being friends. The common thing in a children's book would be at the end they kind of learn to be friends and love each other and I didn't want to do that so at the end of the book they're still not friends they're still stuck with each other and I think the most they've reached is that they tolerate each other at the end of the first book the second book is uh, where the monster loves to sing and Moin has uh, been asked to sing at a concert and the monster takes over the concert completely with his horrible singing but there are some characters that I really like in the book. One is the principal, whose name is Kutti Krishnan and the children call him Kuki. And uh, he keeps having sightings of the monster, but everybody else around him says that there is no monster because the monster can quickly change into a piece of paper, you know, uh, when he wants to. So Kuki seems to be the only one who's seeing this monster. So he thinks there's something wrong with him. He's got a friend, Tony, who is like an encyclopedia. He knows everything. He's, he's a little um, sick boy and he's, he knows everything. So he's kind of loves to read and he's the one who really wants to know more about the monster because he's hungry for knowledge. And then there's Parvati who is um, another friend of his who's kind of, you know, she, she's a no-nonsense kind of person. So these are the main characters. In the I think that happens, but I don't do it very consciously, except rarely, but none of these characters really. Uh, I, no, like I think there are, there's one character in Moin the Monster Songster, who is called Lupi Bagiri. And uh, I won't, I won't tell you who he is, uh, 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 who he is fashioned after, but I, when I describe him, I think you'll guess. He, is, he wears dark glasses and he's got longish hair and he wears a lot of gold jewellery and he's a music, uh, he's a musician who makes, who composes horrible songs. <laughs> so children's reading levels vary largely so it's a little dodgy to give age groups but I would say roughly uh, 7 to 11. I started writing for children very, quite a while ago actually, 96, 97. I was working with a publishing house called Tara Publishing and uh, they they were just starting off so they do a lot of, uh, so we were doing everything ourselves. So I started writing then but the first, the early books I wrote were all for um, small children, picture books, you know, in verse mostly. It's only in the, Moin and the Monster was my first uh, chapter book, the book of prose, slightly longer book. That was in 2000 and it came out in 2005. Uh, one reason is that I love reading children's books and the second thing is that it's something that I read actually uh, Alison Lurie who is a she's a she's a writer who writes about children's uh, literature 
has uh, i read a book in which he said that all children's writers tend to have not outgrown their childhood so i realized when i read that that's that's probably why i enjoy writing children's books so much because i never quite outgrew my childhood and you know so there's something about writing and reading children's books that i enjoy more on some level more than i do reading and writing adult fiction